readers. Sometimes when I'm taking a test, I feel like I'm performing stunts. My brain just flips, dips, and turns as I read different passages and answer a variety of questions. There are no test performers, performers or test doubles who can step in and take the test for us. We have to move one word at a time and answer one question at a time using all of our reading workshop skills to help us do our best. Today, I want to teach you that we use what we know about nonfiction texts to think about the questions that might be asked um, about our text. So readers think about the genre and what's really important that test takers might ask about to help them answer questions. And a lot of this is going to have to do with our chart from yesterday. Nonfiction readers know that it pays to think about their main idea, the text stru structure, and parts of the text, how they fit together as a whole. So. We're going to use what we've learned about reading nonfiction to answer a test question. So let's take a look at question number three. Based on the article, why do some stunt actors spend long periods of time away from home? A. They need to live in different parts of the world to be able to help actors. B. They need to hike and climb in deserts, jungles, and mountains to help them stay in shape. C. They need to travel to different places where movies and television shows are filmed. Or D. They need to go to different places to learn new skills from experts. I noticed that this question is asking about stunt actors, not circus performers. So I'm going to go back and reread under the section stunt performers. So that's me using my knowledge of parts of the text and how they fit together. I saw a heading with stunt performers, so I'm going to reread that section. Life as a stunt performer. Stunt actors lead a busy and energetic life. They must be fit and strong. Many start off in martial arts or gymnastics where they learn to develop flexibility and fall safely. Experienced stunt actors learn many extra skills such as horse riding, working with explosives, and scuba diving. Some, some become specialists in one skill such as stunt driving. Stunt actors work wherever movies or television shows are made. Hollywood is known as the movie capital of the world. Other places with busy movie or television studios include Vancouver in Canada and Queensland in Australia. Stunt actors often work on location. This means filming in remote places such as deserts, jungles, and mountains. Stunt actors working on these jobs are away from home for weeks or even months. So after rereading this section, I realized that they don't need to, A, live in different places to help the actors. They really travel to the different places where the movies and television shows are filmed. Um, B, so in answer B, um, let's see. So B talks about having to hike and climb um, to stay in shape. Yes, that could be true, but that's not really keeping them away for a long time. C, they need to travel to the different places where movies and television shows are filmed. It did talk about in this paragraph filming in remote places such as deserts, jungles, and mountains, and that keeps them away for months, so that's looking like a potential. D, they need to go to different places to learn new skills from experts. Also could be true, but it didn't say anything about that keeping um, them away from home for long. So these last sentences here are really what did it for me. This means filming in remote places that keeps them away. So to me, the answer is C. Let's look at another one. Based on the article, music helps circus performers by A, calming their fears when they are in front of an audience, B, reminding them of home when they are performing in a new place, C, letting them know when to begin and end parts of their show, D, allowing them to relax during difficult stunts. So the last question, I was paying attention to my parts of the text and how they fit together. That's how I knew where to go. This one here, it mentions music. So we need to be looking for some main ideas and support. So our next logical step is to go back to the article. In Circus Life, it talked about music. So let's take um, a look at this because this question seems to be about a detail related to music. Circus Life is also busy and active. Performers need to be strong and agile. They need a good sense of balance and a head for heights. The circus is not a place for shy people. Circus performers enjoy being the center of attention. Most circus acts are performed to music. The rhythm of the music gives the performers cues for each section of their act. So I'm not going to show you the answer to this one. What I'd like you to do is go to Flipgrid, and I would like you to tell me 
What is the answer to this question number four? How does music help circus performers? Pause now, record your flip grid, come back when you're done. So we should be done with our flip grid by now. So it's gonna be your turn to try this on your own. So you have a brand new practice article. At this point, you need to have read it already. Um, so you're gonna be taking a look at it, reading it again, answering the questions for session seven. Please stop answering all the questions. Session seven only. As you do this, you need to use your nonfiction reading and thinking skills to do the work before choosing an answer. Session seven questions. Happy reading.